Boston leading by six. Parker out there with Tiny. Then there's Smart. Then it's Allen. And it's Maggette in a tip. That's the Boston five. Tiny, the pass to Allen. Six to shoot. And Smart now atop the key. 18 feet out. Rebound by the Pistons. Garnett's got his third rebound on the night. Jennings with the ball. Out guarded by Smart. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. That one on Smart. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. For Detroit, they have hit most of their free throws tonight. Five of six. And the first one drops. one and this is the second attempt from the free throw line. Celtics leading by five. Now here is McGetty. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Smart passes to Tiny. Six to shoot. Jennings with the double team. Out left to the wing. Nobody near Parker. Good on the three-point shot. You know, I'd like to see more of that from him. He's been passing up his shot more than usual, even though he's hitting the ones he takes. He's got to be more aggressive. Jennings kicks to Bryant. Rebound by Parker. Parker's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Time to the pass to Smart. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Bryant comes with the double team to the left wing. Garnett against Parker. With some arc. Tries again. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. Zelix have been coming through at the charity strike. They've made seven of their eight attempts. At the line with one shot. That one misses from Maggetti. Pistons trail by 10. Jennings drives in. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. The Celtics have gone two or four here to start the second half. Here's Tiny and a strong finish with two hands. An indication there of why the scoreboard looks like it does. Very passive defense. But the finish was anything but pass on. He hammered that down, Clark. Superb above the rim action. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. Look at Tiny. He's been really playing well. He's on fire. And they needed to put their heads together to figure out how to get the ball out of his hand. And here's Wade. He has five. Feeds it to Jennings. Wade dishes to Bryant. Looking to end the run. Detroit, no good that time either. That's not how you want to kick off the second half with three straight misses. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. It's Drummond with the rebound. Pistons trail by 12. Wade drives in. The shot's good on the assist by Jennings. Jennings has got five assists tonight. Textbook right there. Nice pass, great catch, beautiful finish. Now Allen, he's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. And he gets it to go. How about the passing there? Moving the ball without any thought, without any agenda. It's hard to overstate all the points they've scored on assists today. Beautiful to watch. Drummond sets the screen for Jennings. Here's Garnett. And the Pistons getting another bucket right there. Boy, you got to love that nice assist by Jennings. Celtics leading by 11. 
Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. And Parker, here we go. Lock at six. Here's Tiny. And he gets Tiny. the bucket. Tiny's got the lead up to 13 now for the Celtics. Four of their last five makes came off of a high-quality shot inside. Yeah, that's textbook basketball. Just having their way down low. Kobe, that's good. He's got a lot of momentum going with his own game. It's been great today and just as hot as he was last time out. Allen, a screen on Drummond. Allen with the screen for Maggetti. Over to the wing. They double him with Drummond. Tiny, the pass to Parker. Plays it up and banks it in. Parker's got his second basket of the night. And another gap in the defense found right there. This is one of the worst defensive performances I have ever seen. Jennings kicks to Wade. Drummond with a screen on Allen. It's back to Jennings. He feeds it to Wade. Takes a shot at the elbow, and Detroit again with the bucket. They're earning their points with the jump shot now. Yeah, that's six of their last ten points coming in that in-between range. Here's Smart. He's got six. Out to the right wing. Shoots the three. Detroit with the rebound. Garnett's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Wade dishes to Garnett. Wade passes to Garnett. Jennings kicks to Garnett. Wade right side and Parker with the block. Mogetti dishes to Allen. Tries again and the layup is up and in. Mogetti's got four points this quarter. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Yeah, that's five of their last six baskets inside the lane. They have really established themselves inside. That's it, and the Celtic lead has got down to 11 on the bucket from Ryan. You can't say enough about his individual performance. I don't think you can overstate it. I mean, even if the all-around team effort's been lacking, this guy's been on top of things. Parker sets the screen for Smart. And there's the pass to Tiny. And it comes off the rim with a high bounce. Can't get a much better look than that, though. Sure can't. Not one you'd expect him to miss there. Jennings with the ball. And Allen picks him up defensively. And Bryant the bucket on the assist by Wade. Wade's got assist number five here tonight. But you can't leave him alone, especially from long range. Now here's Smart. He's guarded by Jennings. Allen kicks to Parker, takes a three. Jennings with the rebound. Jennings has got three rebounds now in this one. The feed to Drummond. On the wing, Bryant. And there's another one for the Pistons. They have worked the ball around very well. And I'll tell you what, they continue to find good looks from mid-range. Well, they're just taking what the defense has given them because the defenders are backing off and daring them to shoot. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Well, they were getting run ragged out there. Good time for a timeout. Maybe it was even too late, but this club has to regroup now. Well, I tell you what, it wasn't pretty, and they definitely needed to take a minute to talk things over. Both teams deciding to change it up. Here's Cantor. Out to the wing. Thomas passes to Cantor. Good! Cantor's got a second bucket tonight. Another bucket in the paint? That's something they just have not been able to stop today. I think it's time to make some adjustments defensively, Clark. I mean, what they've got going right now is not getting it done. And Fernandez kicks to Joseph. It is now to Morris. Shoots from the baseline. That's good. Marcus. Morris has got his first bucket of the night. Got him with the turnaround there. That was as sweet as honey. Celtics leading by six. Thomas kicks to Middleton.
pass to Green. And it's sent back by Kamen. And they're able to recover. The shot's good from Cantor. Pistons trail by eight. We've got 155 left to play in the third. Meeks inside the three-point line. And Detroit again with the bucket. That's their third straight make off an assist. Boy, the ball movement's been fantastic here the last few possessions. Thomas with the ball. He's got five. Kicks to Lamb. Shoots the three. That's in there. Thomas with the assist. Thomas got his fourth assist in this one. Talk about doing a Rip Van Winkle on defense. Come on, guys, wake up. Why are they leaving him open at the three-point line? Come on. Morris, beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. You know, when he gets the ball that close to the basket, it's almost an automatic two points. Well, the defense has to battle him down there and keep him out of position in the first place. Do your work early. Thomas dishes to Green. He kicks it to Middleton. Three-pointer. That doesn't go either for Green. Pistons trail by seven. Dishes it to Fernandez. That three off the mark. Boy, I'm shocked he didn't make that one. He, he usually knocks that one down with ease. Shots good by Middleton. Middleton's got six. And that assist earned him a little nod from his teammate after the basket. Pass to King. Shot on the wing. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Celtics leading by nine. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Thomas, it's a wide open look. Green, the pass to Cannon. Over to the left wing. And Lamb kicks to Cantor. Goes back up. Pass to Green. Tries yet again. The shot's good from Cantor. Eight points for him. Did you see the defense get caught standing around that time, giving up an easy second-chance bucket? Simply need more of an effort on the boards there, Steve. Well, through three-quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Celtics out in front. They're up by 11. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K. The new season in the NBA rolls on. The Orlando Magic hit the road for a duel with the Atlanta Hawks. Next Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Don't miss it. Pistons trail by 11. And on the four for Detroit here in the fourth. They've got Corey Joseph. Jody Meeks out there with Marcus Morris. Then there's Andre Drummond. And it's Fernandez in at the two guard spot. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stance for the Celtics? You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shots. And I love their hustle because they're getting a lot of second chance opportunities just as a result of playing hard. He's off on the second. You know, they're not totally dominating the glass, but they're definitely doing enough to keep this lead right where it is. Well, if you're doing enough good things and you're maintaining uh, at least a, a slight edge on the boards, you're usually going to be in pretty good shape. Selinger, no good. Well, that's a very low percentage shot. Not good basketball at all. One he probably should have passed on. From and dishes to Morris. And Chen shot, cut it, and the Celtic lead has been cut down to just eight points with the bucket from Drummond. He got a great read of where that miss was going, and that allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. Thomas passes to Smart. 
Here's the pass to Tiny. Hands the shot from the wing. Tiny's got 30 points. His work at the offensive end has been phenomenal. Maybe reason number one, they're ahead. And Joseph kicks to Drummond. Drummond the screen. Joseph with the ball. Now Thomas defending. Here's Morris. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. It's terribly frustrating for a coach when his team can't knock down their free throws. I mean, it really comes down to focus, routine, and stamina, especially in the second half. Allen's checked in for Boston. Then for the Pistons, Kobe comes in for Meeks, and it's Jennings in for Corey Joseph. And he sinks the second. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. And here's Smart. He dishes it to Allen. Feeds to Parker. Shoots from the baseline. And it comes off the front of the rim. Pistons trail by nine. And Bryant kicks to Fernandez. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. First one falls. Boston making a switch here. Maggetti's checked in, and the Pistons making a change here as well. Kevin Garnett is checked in for Marcus Morris. He makes one of two that time. Celtics leading by eight. Maggetti kicks to Allen. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. They set the pick, and there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Well, he's been pretty safe with the ball for the most part. In fact, that's his first turnover, guys. Dwayne Wade's checked in for Detroit. Pistons trail by eight. Jennings kicks to Kobe. He trains the quick shot. Bryant's got 27. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. There's the feed to Allen. Now the dish to Smart. Passes it to Tiny. Off the pick. And right on target. Good. Tiny's got 11 points here in just the second half. Wow, such a steady hand. He's the one responsible for getting them this late lead. Can't argue with that at all, Steve. His shooting percentage has been off the charts. Shot's good by Kobe. And he's made the most of his chances, hasn't he? He really needs to continue to work for those good looks. Maggetti with a screen on Bryant to the wing on the left. Allen with a screen for Parker. Pass to Tyler. He feeds it to Smart. Just five to shoot. Buried from 15 feet out. And the Celtics lead by eight. What, what a display of offense we've seen today, and it's only getting better. Well, both defenses have been on their heels all day, and it's begun to take its toll. Jennings kicks to Wade. That falls. Great assist by Brandon assist. Jennings. Brandon Jennings. Jennings has got his seventh assist in the game. Celtics leading by six. Parker sets the screen for Smart. Kicks to Allen. Inside. Deflects the pass. And stolen by Drummond. Wade dishes to Kobe. Jennings in the corner. Back to Kobe. Tries a three. 
And Dwayne Wade with the three. Now it's just a three-point Boston lead. They're down right now, trying to stay in the game with the three ball. They've shot a lot more here in the second half than they did in the first half. And I'm not sure I agree with that strategy. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Well, he sees something that, he's, that he doesn't like. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, but I think he's going to make some changes here. I think you've got to make your adjustments pretty quickly like he's doing here. Otherwise, you know, things can get out of hand. So this is a good timeout. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Hi, guys. Over that break, I was able to catch the message Brad Stevens was giving to his team. He tried to really fire them up to bring it home, saying, all night, you have all night to rest after the final buzzer. But now, we have to lay it on the line and try to bring it home. Guys, back to you. Pistons trail by five. He kicks to Kobe. Shot misses. And the Celtics going the other way now. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. And that will be the middle game of this three-game homestand. Tiny, the pass to Smart. Dishes it to Allen. Six to shoot. His three-pointers off the mark. Surprisingly, he hasn't really been a big part of their offense. I don't think he ever got into a rhythm. Jennings kicks to Bryant. Bryant is double. Garnett dishes to Bryant. That one's in there. The Boston lead is cut down now to just three on the basket from Kevin Garnett. You know, when the size advantage is that pronounced, I mean, that's exactly what you should do offensively in this situation. Take it strong to the middle. Smart passes to Parker. Here's Tiny. And it's good in the assist by Parker. And that's 36 points for Tiny. He's got the touch they needed here as this one goes down to the wire. Yeah, absolutely. He's four for four, and he knows they need every basket. I would look for them to continue to get the ball in his hands. KG, that's good. I tell you what, you don't want to allow too many of those kinds of baskets with the game on the line. No, this is when defenses have to protect the basket with everything they've got. Force the offense to shoot from the perimeter. Jennings with the double team. Parker against Garnett. Fades and shoots. Parker's shot is off. He's tried to get it going, but the shots just have not dropped for him today. And Bryant kicks to Wade. Right side, Jennings. Back to Bryant. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Boy, in a close game especially, those plays really hurt. Now here's Smart. The pass to Tiny. Wide open shot is on the money. Tiny's got 38 points. Much in the clutch. He's 5 for 5 from the field here in the fourth. Well, they keep giving him the ball, and it's working, so I wouldn't change a thing. Pass to Bryant. It's back to Jennings. Shot clock at 6. Stolen by Smart, and pushing it up. Here's Boston. And he gets it to go. And it's a seven-point Boston lead. Now that is a quick bucket. Pretty good in transition. That's right. That's exactly right. He loves when he gets the chance to get out and run. That's when he's at his best. Now a timeout called by Detroit. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. In the break, guys, I listened in on Stan Van Gundy's huddle. He was intent on running the offense through Kobe. Coach emphasized getting him as many touches as possible, saying he is going to be one of the guys to carry us the rest of the way. Guys, they're operating under the principle that it's never too late to fine-tune the game plan. Kevin, over to you. Thank you, Doris. Now, smart. 
They double in with Drummond. Passes to Tyler. Five to shoot. Allen for the three, and he gets it to go. And the Celtics lead by seven. Now they haven't gotten much production from him, but they remain in the lead. Outside Jennings. Fires from deep. Bryant can't get it to go. Celtics have gotten exactly two-thirds of their shots to find the bottom of the net here in the fourth. Eight of 12. Nobody near Allen. And it's passed it with another. Nice pass. He got the ball right into his teammate's shooting pocket. On time and on target. Time call here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. They trail by nine. There's a minute 40 left in the fourth quarter. Thomas checked in for Smart. Isaiah Thomas. Jennings kicks to Kobe. Second shot opportunity, and there's the nice layup by Drummond. Drummond's got four this quarter. That rebound and the follow kind of typify what he's all about. Just gritty, determined play. Jennings against Thomas. They double him with Drummond. And the Zoltics with possession here. Shot clock at five. Near the three-point line, it's Thomas. Excellent D from Wayne. Pistons trail by seven. Goes up again. Bryant's shot is off. I don't know if it's just me, but he's looked a step slow since the start of the quarter. His shooting has really suffered. Thomas against Jennings. Here's Tiny. Boston, no good that time either. Detroit's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Connects! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. And so they foul intentionally. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. Two points here might be all the cushion they need. Now you'd think so. I mean, this game is theirs for the taking. And that passing lane wasn't open for long. He closed it down. Oh! oh, oh ridiculous. Tore it down that time. <laughs> Boy, their defense making an impact here late, Kevin. And straight off the steel card, the perfectly run fast break ends in the slam dunk. Yeah, that could be a huge four-point swing in this game. So you do what you have to do to extend this game and try to get the ball back. In this situation, clock management is crucial. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. Power timeout called by Detroit. They're losing by four. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? I think the coach is telling him here to just take the easy points in a hurry, and then you got to foul right away. I don't think they necessarily need to just foul blindly right away here. Still go for a steal before you send one of them to the foul line. One after the other, Kobe taking care of business. And so it's Boston with it. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. They 
Gets the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. And so both free throws are good, and it's a four-point ball game. And that's exactly how you close the game out. Those free throws will bury them for sure. Jennings. Yes! Boy, that is a tough shot. And so it's Boston with it. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. the first one and that makes it a three-point lead and so he drops them both it's a four-point ball game eight seconds left in the game it falls time called here the Celtics decide to talk it over they're in front by two. Just two seconds left to play in the final quarter. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. and that makes it a three-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. Heaves it up. Oh, no good! And so it's Boston scraping by with the win. And Clark, you know, it was quite a nail bite. Yeah, it was tight. Their guys were able to come up with big plays down the stretch, and that's the difference. And that'll do it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. And now we present the Jordan player of the game, Tiny.